Aquarius, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. So we want to remind you one thing, right? And that is about your energy, because your energy really uh, indicates where you're being called and where you're being guided. And so if th there is not enough self-love practices or self-care practices that are being implemented in your everyday life, this is gonna lead to a lot of overthinking and a lot of fear and insecurity within your own decision-making, within your own knowing, because you're not going to know because you're not tuned in to what your energy is reading. What feels, what do you feel called to do? What do you feel pulled to do? And recognizing when you don't, but you do it anyway, then there's a trigger, then there's a repetitive habit, then there's a familiar uh, pattern pattern you see. And then you want to acknowledge it and say, okay, this is something that no longer supports me. And you divert your focus to something else. But unless you are in the awareness of how your energy works, this is going to be a difficult process, right? So the first step is reuniting with your energy, getting some energy work in, having energy clearing practices. That's being in the shower and not letting your mind go a mile a minute of all the things you want changed in your life, but being in the shower, being present, right? Focusing on your hands, washing your body and really saying to yourself, you know, things like I intend to cleanse my energy. The water that is flowing over my body is cleansing my energy, right? Breathing, but being in that moment intentionally clearing, right? Movement, getting outside first thing and getting your body moving. We're telling you this will clear your energy instantly. You'll feel so good about it. Get up, get up, move your body, come back, have a shower. Oh, it's like ceremonial at that point. It's amazing. But having energy clearing practices, running um, uh, white light and, and vibrational light through our energy, through our chakras, our energy batteries, rejuvenates them, refreshes them. It allows us to interpret where we're called, what guidance and what signs the universe has for us. We're able to recognize when the universe has a message for us because it resonates with us. But if we're so caught up in our own world, in our own heads, we are so lost with all the choices and opportunities that are there for us. We don't know which one actually resonates with us. We don't know which one actually is for us because we're constantly thinking about it. Maybe it's this, maybe if I did this. And as we know, the minute that we think about something and emotion comes into that thought, it becomes reality for us. So we quickly start to create these realities that we think we should do, but half the time it doesn't even reflect what we want to do. It's just what we think we should do because we're like, oh, that's it. That's the one. But we haven't really sat with it, right? We haven't really let it simmer and, and asked ourselves, do I want to do that? Is that something I desire to put attention into? Or am I doing that to get something out of it? You see, the, you know when the right thing for you shows up because it feels so right. Right. It feels so right. It just feels so aligned. You're like, oh, this, this is just me. This is, I can't even do it any other way because this is who I am, right? Let that, let that feeling come, right? And that comes truly from just, again, spending time in the, in the awareness of where our energy is guiding us being in that receival mode and receival mode means being open, living our lives with an open heart, right? So that would be like giving without needing anything in return, or that would be like listening to what our hearts are guiding us towards because it's something we desire. So we're doing something because we love it. We're doing something because we enjoy it. Because we, and, and, and so to get in tune with our energy means we start tapping into what we love, what we enjoy. So when you're in your nine to five, instead of saying, I hate my job, I hate the hours, I hate the people, I want to change, I'm exhausted, right? Instead of focusing there, which is going to leave you feeling exhausted, right? You say to yourself, what do I love from what I do? And what are my favorite moments in the day from what I do? What are my favorite parts of when I show up at work? Focus on those things. And then that's created in your awareness and that builds up. And then when that's your awareness, your heart is open. And when your heart is open, then universe can connect you to the next thing. But if you're closed off at your, you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, what's the point? I hate my life closed off and then you don't get directed to the next thing. And even though spirit's showing you messages and trying to help you, you're closed off. You're, nothing's coming in because you're like, you're just shut down, right? We want you to open and be in the receival mode. And that comes from only focusing on things you love. And it's much easier when we have self-care, self-love practices, because then it leaves us open for a big part of the day. And we get used to living like that. You see, having writing gratitude lists, exercising, eating those healthy foods, clean foods, 
foods for our bodies, right? Then we're in that habit and we start to make better choices and start to reunite with who we are and we start to access our truth, right? That way you know what your ideas, which ideas are honest and truthful for you and not feeling like even though you have all these ideas and all these, um, you know, notions and all these brilliant things coming in, it might not be your truth with that seven of swords. And you might be, you might be taking more than is necessary. You might be doing more than is necessary off of that idea, right? And that's going to come from like an energetic, um, it could be like a familiar thing. Like for instance, like if you're used to feeling the energy of someone feeling disappointed around you, then it's going to trigger your people pleasing tendencies because you're going to feel their energy of disappointment. You're not going to want to feel disappointed. So then you want to make that other person happy so that you don't feel disappointed. They don't feel disappointed, but that's going to be, that's going to be giving your energy away, right? So you might overstep, you might say extra than you need to. You might try to please them, say kind words. You might try to give them something more, right? Do more for them, give them gifts, right? Or, or be more, uh, do more at your work space and then they get used to you always doing something for them, pleasing them. And then when they get shut off, they're pissed at you. And then you're like, what happened here? Right? So that's an imbalance, right? That's why we want you to be more, pay more attention to your energy and see, okay, like, what am I feeling right now? And am, am I just reacting to this person's energy in front of me? Am I just reacting to this environment? And what are my triggers for that? When I used to get really, really excited or really, really low, my trigger would be espresso. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let's go get espresso, right? It would just be this, this trigger thing. Thing. And I never actually like for a while tuned in with myself and asked, do I even want espresso? And then what I started getting in the habit of is visualizing what I wanted to do. So I would visualize in that moment of excitement, drinking an espresso. And all of a sudden it's like my brain sh shut down, my body turned off. I was way too stimulated. My stomach felt squeezy and sick. Cause again, as an empath, it's one of our special, especially for an Aquarius, when you visualize something for yourself, you can feel the effects, you can feel the outcome. So you visualize yourself wearing an outfit and seeing how that feels for the day. You'll know right away if you want to wear it, what foods you eat, visualize eating it, drinking it. How does it make you feel right? Visualize saying what you want to say. How does that make you feel? Does it feel like that's something you should say and should do, or are you just reacting to the energy you see? So get in tune with your energy, beautiful soul. And then, then you will be able to walk away from any type of conflict, adverse situation, anything that doesn't feel truthful to your heart. That's what we want. And the minute that you walk away from any influence in your life that doesn't feel truthful for your heart, truly, okay, then you are going to reclaim your power and you are going to have all this beautiful confidence and energy that's going to be able to be directed towards all of your true intentions and all of the things that you truly love. Now, remember, whenever we are in a moment of clarity, we want to get you in the habit of recognizing, or excuse me, contrast. <laughs> whenever you're in the moment of contrast where things feel kind of icky, not very good, again, kind of, you know, egoed up and such, we always want to remind you that in that moment is where your soul is expanding the most and where you're learning the most lessons. So when you are feeling really low and you're feeling like things are wrong and you did the wrong thing and you said the wrong thing and you feel bad about yourself or you feel terrible or whatever it may be, right? We want to remind you, you want to say these words, right? I'm grateful for this moment of contrast I'm currently receiving as I know it is expanding my soul and I am learning lessons, okay? Grateful for the lessons, right? In those moments, rewire your programming to, to, to interpret contrast as gratitude or interpret contra uh, contrast as lessons and expansion and uh, growth in your life, right? Newfound sense of awareness. Cause when we do this, oh, uh, I've been in kind of a low state lately and you know what? I'm so excited because I'm like, wow, something big is going to happen. I can feel it. Something big is about to happen because I don't feel like my, my, my loving state. I of course always feel loving. My energy is just not really high. If you notice my energy is just a little more, uh, a little lower, but it's not that I feel bad. It's just that it's more grounded, which I'm actually quite grateful for. Um, however, uh, you know, there's just, I can feel something's changing. And so whenever you're in that feel it, that, that feeling state where things feel like they're not quite right, where they're, they're not quite feeling that truth, right? Trust that that is clarity. Trust that that is expansion coming. But again, we really want you to be honest with yourself. Yeah. We want you to be really honest with yourself here, Aquarius on, um, the choices that you're making and the thoughts that you're thinking. Cause a lot of the time, um, it doesn't actually reflect what we want. It's something we're trying to make happen, right? You really want change. So you're making something happen. And, and that's what we're seeing here with these two cards in reverse. Let it be focus on your energy, right? Focus on where your, uh, energetic flow is taking you, right? And, 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 and start to visualize doing things before you actually do them because it's part of your gift, right? You're a visionary being an air sign. So 
embrace that part of you. Now your angels are coming forward with a message here of change and direction and they are saying to you, the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future, so follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Open your heart, watch your energy, pay attention to it, and you will be guided into your knowing. And until you know, it's not ready yet. Don't try to create something out of nothing. Don't try to make it something if it's not. You'll know when it's for you because you will feel so aligned. There's no other way to say it except this is me. I found it, right? When I realized I was going to be a, uh, a spiritual um, uh, uh, way shower in a sense, right? Uh, in interpreting the messages of spirit and, 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 you know, helping, uh, help, uh, serving others on their path that just everything resonated. It was like this huge, like ding, 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 tingly moment. I'm pretty sure I cried, right? I'm pretty sure I felt it was a gift from my grandpa that had transitioned over, right? It was, it was this big monumental feeling of like, this was it, right? And so until you have that, this is it, you just know, like, again, you well up with tears, your body starts tingling. You just have this overwhelming sensation of, of joy and bliss and realignment. You're like, oh my gosh, then it's not. So don't make it into something that it's not, right? Focus on your energy, focus on prioritizing what you love, go through the experiences of life, and when it's your time, it will be so. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.